So, if you've been around the channel for a while, you probably have heard me not hang on. So, if you've been around the channel for a while, you probably know I don't stop banging on about these things. This is a smartphone, as some of you may know, and maybe using and maybe even watching this video one. Smartphones are absolutely incredible. I mean, I've made loads of videos on them before, and today I'm doing another one for a good reason. With each iteration being better than the last, adding new stuff, making them more affordable and more eco-friendly, making them better to produce for the planet, as well as having some amazing camera quality. As I've said before, in many videos, directors like Steven Soderbergh like to use them for his films. Uh, I did a whole photography competition two weeks ago where they're only allowed to use smartphones. Now, don't get me wrong, I'd rather use my camera as I like using my camera. These, these, some of them are just as good in terms of quality. And also, they may be more accessible for loads of people. Now, I was thinking the other day, I was thinking that like I always say about smartphones, but I never really do it. And I thought today I'd put my money where my mouth. Hang on, no, that doesn't work. I'd put my words where my mouth is, and I'll test out my own theories. Today I'm gonna do a little photography challenge. I'm only allowed to use my smartphone. I'm gonna be editing it on a software that's available on smartphones, and I'm gonna see what photos I can get. This experiment is not only going to test the quality of smartphones, but also the influence from a photographer's standpoint and how they compare to my other photos I got. Now, for this experiment, I've decided to go to the zoo again. Well, I didn't decide, it's a family trip. We went on a family trip to the zoo that I've just come back from. This is later on in the day, by the way. I'm filming this afterwards, so it's already gone ahead. It's done good. So I'm going to go to the zoo for the third time in two weeks, becoming a problem. And I'm going to try my hardest, only getting photos on my phone. And we're going to see how they compare from my photos I took two weeks ago on this little thing. The day started out as normal, obviously, going into the zoo. The lockdown restrictions have changed a bit. Uh, the inside bits are open, what allowed me more opportunities to take photos. So we walked around the zoo a bit, saw some of the animals, also fed some awesome giraffes, and I managed to get quite a lot of photos. One thing I did notice is that my inability to zoom and retain quality was hard because it's digital zoom. It was a shame, especially that the zoo I went to, there's not many things that are close up. So I did find it hard from a distance. Obviously, I have the ability to crop and the quality of photos is quite high, so cropping it won't really be that much of a problem. Conditions today were fairly normal. It was a bit cloudy, it even rained at points. But overall, very balanced conditions, very great for photography. Now, as I said, everything was pretty much open, so I managed to go into mainly all the inside bits, but but I still didn't get as close as I wanted to. I shot in live photos by accident uh, for, for half the day, but I can convert them and it should all be fine. Overall, it was a pretty sick day. I had a great time. I also fed some Laura Keats. My GoPro ran out of battery for, so that was great. You just gonna have to take my word for it. And also see the picture. I took pictures in there. But I'm back now. I'm back. I'm doing good. Very tired. I have a lot of work to do. As soon as I edit the photos, I'm gonna get back to you and we can, we can talk about it, see how they come out. I haven't seen them of this going on, it's very loud. And also, you may be wondering, there's been a few changes to my room. I will be talking about it like next week, possibly, when we do some more changes. I have some cool stuff to show you. And I'll catch back up with you, the, the, the mouth. Come on, buddy. Come on, you got this. And I'll catch back up with you later when I have the fully edited photos. <laughs> Wait, right there. Hang on. There we go. Hello. Hello. Evening. Evening, everybody. Hello. Can you see me all right? Are you doing good? Great. Awesome, awesome. It is much later down in the day. Down in the day? It's not slated on the. T <laughs> um, it's much later on in the day, meaning that I've just finished. Oh, I just. Ah, that bad toe. I just finished editing the photos. I got six pretty good ones, so hear them now. Boom. Scatter ba yeah, ba da ba da ba do. Ba -ba 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 boom, I don't know how many that was. That was six. Six I'm fairly happy with. And yeah, I think I did all right. Not as good as I thought I, I, I would. Comparing them to some of the photos I got recently with my camera, going to the zoo. <laughs> I don't know, some of them are convincing, they're good quality, and some of them are not. A lot of the ones I liked were very situational, as in like, situation, and I was quite lucky with the one, the weather, and two, the proximity I was with the animals. When I was with the camera, you have the options to go in for a close-up, take it to a wide, and change the exposure properly, and use stuff with the shutter speed, making it really sharp. Yeah, I found it, uh, it, was, it was a hard challenge. One of the areas I definitely noticed there was difference was especially with stuff like the aperture. Kind of got used to like 1.4 1. to 1.8, uh, why absolutely love, meaning that dust particles or grids, I found, you know, with a selective focus, you can really, you know, the lens doesn't really see it. But no, with using that, it's very 
it's quite nice at the zoo because then you can select to focus on just the animal. I didn't really have that option here. I kind of got everything in focus, meaning that in a lot of my shots, it was kind of ruined by reflections. One of the ones I even really liked still had reflections in it. I'm really annoyed about it. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, that's, that's one thing I'm taking in mind. So hopefully this influences you to go out. Maybe just go over the park with a phone. See what you can capture. See what photos you can get. It'll be very interesting. Little thing you could try out. And if you do have a camera, maybe try it for a day. Maybe just try and do a shoot for a day. And also, this is not the end of me using a smartphone for certain things. I have got something special coming up. Thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video today, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more of it, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you check out my other videos, it's just on my channel. Down below, you can kind of click my icon and then go to the channel. It's usually how it works, Max. Also, comment what you want to see next. And without further ado, thank you for joining me. I'll see you on Monday. I'll see you on Monday and goodbye.